Siamese Mahjong is relatively new to the American Mahjong community. If you don't already know, this is when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. If you have never played this version before, it is very challenging and it is a lot of fun. There's a link in the video description below to a demonstration and to the rules. Playing with just one opponent, so just two players, is not new to Mahjong worldwide. There are ways to play the game with just two players. But the name Siamese Mahjong is a trademark of Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness. And she is the one who modified the rules of the four player game so that two players can enjoy the game by playing two hands at one time. As we know, American Mahjong is a little different than most other versions. So that took a lot of work and I know a lot of players are very grateful. One of the complexities of Siamese Mahjong is scoring. As a matter of fact, some people omit the scoring because they don't wanna learn how to do it. And that's okay to each their own. In this video, I recreated a hand from a game I played at SiamesMahjong.com so you can practice scoring. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are hands recreated from a game played at SiamesMahjong.com. This player declared Mahjong with a pair hand in the middle game, and then they were working on their second hand. These were my hands, one exposure. With four tiles remaining, I self-picked the winning tile for double Mahjong. Score this. This player had a declared Mahjong. So they're going to get credit for that. That is a 50 point hand. This is double Mahjong. We have a concealed hand and an exposable hand. The concealed hand is worth 30 points. This hand is worth 25 points. Because Double Mahjong was declared. Both of these hands are doubled in value. So this is a 60 point hand and this is a 50 point hand for a total of 110 points. If you're playing online, each player is awarded points for their declared wins. So this player scored 50 points and this player 110 points. If you're playing in person, this player would be able to deduct 50 points from this player's winning hand, 110 points. So they would only owe 60 points to this player. I know it's a little tricky, but there's a link in the video description below so you can reference it while you play. If you decide to score hands when you play Siamese Mahjong, make sure that you have the rules handy. You can print them, but to save trees, you can reference them online with your mobile device. There's a link in the video description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks 
beekeepers.